Hi, my name is Alex Wood. Thank you so much for including me in this year's Author Palooza. I'm originally from Sault Ste. Marie, and most of my family still lives there, so this is really cool for me. Uh, now here's my five questions in five minutes. Uh, what do I write? Well, uh, I'm a comedian, so um, <laughs> usually I just write dick jokes, to be honest with you. That's primarily most of my catalog. But uh, earlier this year, I had this book published with Arsenal Pulp Press. It's called Float Like a Butterfly, Drink Mint Tea. And uh, it's uh, a memoir about uh, my struggles with uh, drugs and alcohol and mental health overall and how I got sober. And uh, there's actually still a lot of dick jokes in it. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to say that it's not also primarily dick jokes. But some other stuff's in there too. So do you believe in writer's block? I want to find the person who answers this and says no, so I can kill them in cold blood. Just stare them right in the eyes as I take their last breath. Because, uh, of course, every writer experiences writer's block at a certain point. Uh, it usually happens for me after I've taken a little bit of a break from writing. It can really come out of nowhere. Um, usually though, when I'm in the flow of it and, uh, and, and writing every day, it doesn't come up that often, but if you take a break, oh man, so my book was about 60,000 words and, uh, if I would take like a week off, um, because I had other stuff to do or dick jokes to tell out of town or something like that, it was really hard getting started again. Like the first day back would just be staring at a blank page, I uh, getting increasingly angry, but... I sort of learned that you got to take the pressure off writer's block and just accept it. So the days where it would take me like an entire day to get like 500 words, I would just be okay with that because I, that's the thing about writer's block. You just got to push through it and then it, and then it starts flowing a little more uh, naturally after that again, which uh, brings us to the third question. How do you get the creative juices flowing? Before, I used to drink a whole bunch of coffee, uh, smoke a ton of cigarettes, pace my house listening to music, and try and get like motivated and excited to write. And I found, well actually it took me a while to figure this out, but what was happening is I would mostly do that all the way until I crashed and then take a nap and then wake up and think, oh man, I fell asleep. Got to start doing it all over again and then drink some more coffee and smoke cigarettes and then listen to music to try and get the juices flowing and then I would crash again and I think you can see where this is going. So, uh, by the way, that's a lot what this book is about. Uh, I quit uh, drugs, alcohol, and then also uh, caffeine, cigarettes, red meat, dairy, porn, sugar, social media, and a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, I, I feel like now... I just drink a nice peppermint tea. I might listen to one or two songs and then I just force myself to start because I never feel ready to start. I always think that like, oh, I'm going to do something that's going to just uh, make my brain explode with ideas and that never seems to happen. So now I just sit down and really just start. It's actually kind of a more boring process now, but it works a lot better. And uh, what does being a successful writer mean to you? Money! Oh, give me all that cash. You know how it is. I went from being a Canadian stand-up comedian to now being a Canadian author. And let me tell you, I am rich. Don't let the lighting or this obvious basement apartment I live in fool you. I make so much. I obviously don't make money. Uh, I mean, I make a little money. I don't have a day job anymore. Not like... Buy my book, please. But, uh, yeah... Honestly, this sounds like cheesy, but now it's just all about the process for me. So like being a successful writer just means like now when I write something and I know it's good and I like it, just that feeling. That's what being a successful writer is to me. I write a passage or a joke or whatever and I like it right away. That there's not, nothing's better than that feeling. Um, honestly, nothing like a good review or anything else 
all of that just means like, oh, this is good news because it'll allow me to write more and get that other good feeling that I like better. That's what being a successful writer means to me now. And now, uh, where can we find your book? So you can find my book at the Sault Ste. Marie Public Library on their website. I'm not sure if they have physical copies, uh, but for sure on the website. And it's also uh, available in bookstores across Canada and a couple in the Sioux as well. So thank you so much for having me at this year's Author Palooza. Uh, I think it's a great event, and I hope everybody supports it every year so we can keep doing it. Thank you so much.